Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Docker Compose server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Docker Compose. So simply from this product page, click on get it now and then click on continue. After that, from this product description page, simply click on create. And then you will be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose a resource group by the creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as Docker. After that, simply choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then select the VM architecture and the size of the virtual machine according to your requirements. Once all of that is done, simply create an administrator account for the Windows Server 2019 and also the account that we would be using to connect to the virtual machine using an RDP connection. So simply provide the username and the password. Once that is done, simply scroll down and leave the network settings as default and then click on review plus create. Now this is going to start up a validation process. So you need to wait for the validation process to fully complete. Now once the validation process is done, simply click on this create button to actually create this virtual machine. And then you just have to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this, simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page, simply click on connect and then choose RDP. After that, click on this button that says download the RDP file and once that file is downloaded, simply click on it to establish an RDP connection. So click on connect and it is going to ask you for the credentials. Now click on more choices and then click on use a different account and then provide the username and the password that we have created while creating this virtual machine. Once that is done, simply click on OK and then it is going to prompt you one last time. So click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Once the remote session has been established, you need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you can access Docker Compose by either using the command prompt or the PowerShell, which have been placed on the desktop for your convenience. So the very first step that we are going to do is that we are going to verify the existence of Docker Compose. So click on the PowerShell and open it up and then simply type docker-compose space version and then hit enter. Now as you can see that the Docker Compose version is 1.29.1. .1. Even though Docker Compose has been installed inside this virtual machine, we still need to install Docker Engine. Now to install this Docker Engine, the very first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to right click on the PowerShell and run it as an administrator. Once that is done, you're going to click the link in the description box to come to this blog post guide on how to set up Docker Compose. And within this, you're going to come over to this section which says install Docker Engine and you're going to simply copy all of these lines, head back inside the connection and you're going to simply right click within this PowerShell terminal to paste all of these lines and execute them simultaneously. And then you need to wait for all of the installation process to be finished. Now this last line, start service docker, might return in an error. If it does for you then worry not, you just have to simply restart your virtual machine and this error would go away. So to restart this machine, you can exit this remote desktop connection, head back over to Azure, go to overview and then simply click on this button that says restart and then click on yes and then wait for a few moments for the virtual machine to be restarted. Now once you see this message that successfully restarted the virtual machine docker, now you can again connect to it using the RDP file that you had previously downloaded or you can even download a new one. Now once you're back inside the virtual machine after the restart, right click on the PowerShell and run it as an administrator and then type in the last command which was start service with an hyphen and then space and docker and then hit enter. Now as you can see that this time around we did not get any kind of error. Now the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to create a hello world container from a template for docker compose to show you that everything is working perfectly fine. And for this we are going to be following the blog post that was linked in the description box. So the very first thing is that we are going to open up the file explorer and then we are going to head inside this PC and then in the C drive and in here I'm simply going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it as project. Head inside this new folder and in here I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it as docker compose 
.yaml. Even though I'm creating a text file, but if I open it up, click on save as, change it from text document to all files, and then type in the extension or the encoding to yaml, then in this way, I am able to create a docker compose .yaml file. So I can delete this docker compose text file. Now within this docker compose .yaml file, I'm going to paste in some of the commands from the blog post. So head back over to the blog post and copy these lines according to the windows server that you're running. So since I'm running the version 2019, so therefore I'm going to copy these lines. Head back inside the connection, paste in the lines within this file, exit and save. After that, I'm going to open up the PowerShell as an administrator once more. And then I'm going to head inside this folder project by typing in the command cd c colon slash project slash. Now in this, we can check the existence of docker compose.yaml file by typing in the command ls. So as you can see that we do have this command. Now to execute a Docker hello world container, we are simply going to type in docker hyphen compose space up and then hit enter. Now it is going to take a few moments to pull the hello world template and run it on the terminal, but wait for it and you would get the results within this PowerShell. And just like that, as you can see within this PowerShell, it says hello from Docker. This message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. So this is the hello world container from Docker. Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Docker on Azure. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.